heard about this young man who's blind, who uses echolocation, like bats use, to understand the world around him. Is that is that real? Is that possible? And that's exactly right, actually. Uh, so this kid, Ben Underwood, maybe is the one you saw, he makes clicks with his mouth, and he gets echoes back from things, and he can tell where there's an open space, like a door, and where there's a, a car parked in his way, stuff like that. But it turns out, Ben is one of thousands of blind people who use echolocation. In fact, the term echolocation was introduced in a paper in the journal Science in 1930. Echolocation in blind men and bats. Blind people can use the tip of their cane or sounds or snapping a finger or anything like that, and they can get very good at listening to the bounce back of the echoes to understand where they are. Is there any evidence that certain brain real estate has been reassigned to evaluate that? that that's exactly right. So what happens when somebody goes blind, the whole visual cortex in the back of the head gets taken over by hearing, by touch, by other things. And so you have much better hearing. Blind people provably are much better at localizing where a sound is coming from, and they can even localize things with one ear. Normally we use both ears to tell where something is, but they've got so good at using just the bounce of the wrinkly parts of your ear called the pinup, they get so good at that they can tell exactly where something comes from based on how it bounces around and goes into your 